Thank you all for joining tonight's meeting. This is the community meeting to discuss the design plans for the South Healing Street and West Risinger Road intersection improvement projects. This is in Council District 6. So before I get started, are there any representatives from Council District 6? Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. So my name is Fanta Kaba and I'm the City of Fort Worth Project Manager. Our design project engineers are liquidity engineering. For tonight's agenda, we'll discuss the details on the status of this project. We'll talk about the design phase, the project details, the project schedule, and then project contact information. So we are currently in the design phase. And just an overview of the, the design stages for Honey, our do you know projects. What I can't do we have the 30% submittal. And for this submittal, we like to have the, tra the consultants will do the traffic study. They'll come up with recommendations on the intersection improvements. Next is a 60% submittal. So for this submittal, we like to have more in-depth details and more further engineering done. We like to do a constructability walkthrough just to make sure that um, we are able to construct the improvements. And then we like to start coordinating our utilities and right-of-way if, if applicable. For our 90% submittal, that's when we start finalizing the plans for construction. For this project, we are currently in process for the 60% submittal. So a little background on this project. So this project is part of the 2022 bond program and our consultant did a traffic study to come up with how we can improve this intersection. There is a need to improve traffic flow during peak hours, reduce delays, and improve overall safety for all road users, improve pedestrian safety at their intersection by installing pedestrian actuated signals with push buttons, and also improving pedestrian access elements such as ADA compliant curb ramps. And again, this project is funded by the 2022 bond. <laughs> So we had a traffic operation study and the purpose was to evaluate improvements to increase capacity, improve mobility, and improve operation. Oh, wait. And based on the traffic study, there was conclusion that there is heavy westbound and southbound left turn movements. We have the North Crawley High School located south on Hewlin Street, and then I-35 and Crawley Middle School located east on West Risinger Road. So after further analysis, there is conclusion that the existing left turn queue exceeds available turn lane storage for all approaches, excluding the northbound. And then the level service analyzed for the years 2026, 2031, and 2046. Based on the traffic operation studies, the recommendations were to reconstruct all left turn lanes, reconstruct the westbound left turn lane to have an additional westbound left turn lane. So we'll see the exhibits in a few slides. Install northbound channelized right turn with the old operation, and then to extend the left turn lanes. So again, this is our project location. This is South Healing Street and West Risinger Road. So this, what we're looking at is the exhibit. This is the eastbound approach. So the west side of the intersection. So we, we have proposed offsetting the left turn lane. And then this is the westbound approach or the east side of the intersection. This is the additional westbound left turn lane that we just discussed. This is the south of the intersection or northbound, and then you see the offset left turns here as well. And then finally, this is the southbound approach or a north side of the intersection. And then again, you see the offset left turn lanes. 
And so that is to increase the safety and visibility for these left turn movements. Project schedule, we are currently in design phase. Currently, we're not anticipating any right of way acquisition. We are in coordination with utilities to address any potential conflicts. And then we're estimating contract execution for construction to be summer of 2024 with construction starting fall of 2024 for a duration of 12 months and a cost of about 2.2 million. Contact information. So we have David Leslie with Quiddity Engineering, our design engineer. His number is 972-265-7192. My contact information, Fanta Cabo with the city of Fort Worth. My number is 817-682-3181. And then whether it's for this project or any citywide, we have a few options to input service requests. So we have the mic forward that for Apple. We have the mic forward that for Google. Both links are on this slide. You can text hello to 817-835-MY-FORTWORTH or 6939. You can call the city call center at 817-392-1234. And then there's also a chat box on the City of Fort Worth website. So that concludes tonight's presentation and it's now open up for questions. Thank you all for joining us. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, how are you? Hi, I'm well, thanks. Um, can you show the slide again for what the cost of the project is going to be? Sure, just a second. Thank you. Sure, thank you. Will there be any changes to the northbound section of um, Hewlin at Risinger? I'll go back to the exhibit for the northbound approach. David, once I'm on that slide, do you want to give an overview of the northbound updates to the northbound approach? Sure, you bet. Yeah, yeah. So. So Fanta's got, let, let me just introduce you. Uh, my name's David Leslie and she shared my contact information. Uh, I'm with Quiddity Engineering and uh, we've got offices uh, scattered all over the state of Texas and uh, here in Fort Worth and, and in Plano. And so, um, so she's got the slide on the screen. Uh, North is looking to the right. And so the improvements here are gonna be to shift that left turn lane over further into the median. And as Fanta mentioned, it what that does is it creates a, a positive offset where you have clearer visibility across the intersection uh, to see when you can turn if you don't have that that green arrow you, you know protecting your turn. So uh, so it provides a safer safer turning movements there. We're also adding a channelized right turn lane. Uh, that goes right there. She's pointing to it there, right? So two of the other corners already have that channelized right turn lane. And uh, so we're adding that in uh, here on this corner. Can you go back to each one of those slides and speak to each one of them? It went so fast. We don't even know what we saw. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Fanny, you want to start? Uh, that's good. Okay. So this is the uh, the eastbound approach. Uh, so the the west side of the intersection, north is facing up, and so there's currently a single left turn lane, and it it sits right about where you see some striping on the on the pavement there, 
uh, in this proposed slide. So we're going to take that and shift it further here again to into the median to where you create that positive offset and have a cleaner line of sight for the turning movement. So uh, that'll be that'll be pretty much what we're what we're capturing for the improvements here. Um, can I ask you a question on that on that slide right there? Sure. So I see the turn you have on Walgreens and some work was recently done like utility work in recent uh, months maybe here or so at CVS corner. Are you um, the city considering putting that same kind of a turn at that and there's at that corner of the CVS because there seems to be lots of the space seems to be there that make it a more smooth kind of turn on that corner. <laughs> Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, that that channelized right turn lane. Yes, yeah, uh, so opposite yeah, of yeah, Walgreens. Yes, yeah. yeah. exactly, exactly. So the the traffic study did not show uh, that that was needed at this time, and so uh, certainly it could be considered in the future. But at this point, it did not include. Excuse me, enhance the. It did not improve the level of service of the intersection, and so the the cost benefit of adding that at this point in time didn't prove out. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Thank you. Sure. Okay. It, uh, I see somebody's got their hand up there. Yes, that's me, Eric Janowski. Thanks. I, I was a little late joining your presentation. Uh, could you remind me what's driving this um, project, and by the way, the information I got on this project initially was that it was supposed to be a roundabout, which I'm glad it's not. Um, <laughs> I don't know where this information was coming from, but obviously it was an error. But what is driving uh, this um, improvement? Is just the number of accidents at this intersection? It is. It's it's the number of accidents. It's the it's it's the level of service that you have at the intersection. It's the it's the number of turning movements. The schools are there, right? And so uh, the, the crash data was was high that we were seeing. Uh, so taking advantage of you know when we have a wide median like we have. Uh, at, at all of these intersections, uh, all of these legs, it allows for uh, this offset left turn lane that will here again improve that uh, the safety of the intersections. Uh, sure. Well, I, I th th thank you. I thank you. certainly hope it does the trick because there was just uh, an accident yesterday morning there. Right. right. Just to prove your points. So. Right. Right. All right. Thank you. Sure. Um, I have a question. Um, hello. Sure, go ahead. Thank you. Um, will there be another meeting to look at the 90% plans? So we will have a pre-construction community meeting as well. And then we'll give an update on the design plans, but we'll also give updates on what conditions you can expect during construction. Okay, okay. thank you. Sure. Question in the chat. Um, can they just make the lights turn on at each section to prevent the accidents? Um, Corina, are you mentioning like each corner of the intersection or like the section throughout Hewland or Risinger? I'm sorry, ask that one more time. So are you trying to refer to like each corner of the intersection or to the like the roadway section of Hewland or Risinger for the street lights? Yeah, I, I mean the the uh the, the the without doing any pavement improvements trying to retime the intersection, the signals doesn't solve the problem. And so, uh, so, so adding the, uh, here again, the additional left turn lane and, and providing the shift over in the other left turn lanes 
And then here again, adding that channelized right turn. Uh, there will be new signals that are put up, uh, but but just doing signal work alone uh, does not improve the, the safety of the, of the intersection. Thank you, David. And then I have the westbound exhibit up if you wanna give a rundown on yeah, this. Yeah, sure, sure, let's, well. let's do that. Right, so this one, this is the one that uh, maybe we're seeing the most improvement on. Um, and so, yeah, as, as Phantom mentioned, this is the westbound uh, approach or the east side of the intersection. And so, so we'll be coming into the median there and, and adding an additional left turn lane and so, so our traffic study showed here that that uh, there was there was sufficient uh, queuing is what we call it when uh, you have a lot of cars that are trying to turn and and, and all and can't all get in the turn lane at once and so so having this dual left will uh, will will considerably improve that situation and so uh, so we'll be that that that's the that's the extent of the improvement there and of course on all four corners we're we're uh, bringing up the the handicap ramps, the pedestrian access, as Phantom mentioned, uh, will be will be improved on all four corners. So, this uh, this leg of of the intersection already has the channelized right turn lane there at the gas station uh, that that uh, that heads northbound. And so, so here it's yeah just just simply adding that uh, additional left turn lane. And so this is the uh, the the northbound approach, uh, the south side of the intersection. Uh, we we really talked through this one uh, a, a minute ago, but just to kind of repeat, so it's shoving the existing left turn lane further into the median uh, to create that positive offset and create a cleaner line of sight across the intersection, and then also adding this channelized right turn lane. Uh, here uh, to head to the east. And then this is your southbound uh, approach or or the north side of the intersection. And so uh, here we're we're adding we're we're shifting the left turn lane over uh, into the median. Uh, the slide, if you see it, it has a little uh, uh, parallax to it, and so it's it the, the image is shifted slightly, but uh, but but nonetheless, it's it's just shifting that that uh, proposed left turn lane further into the median to create that that offset. Uh, we're also shifting it enough to where we can add a left turn lane, a, an additional left turn lane in the future. Um, here again, our traffic study showed that uh, the movements are almost there to do it, but not quite. And so uh, so working with the city, we've decided to go ahead and. Here again, create that now to where all they have to do in the future is just restripe that one area to add that additional turn lane and then do some signal improvements uh, just to just to be able to signal that that other lane. I believe Thank that you, was it. Did we get I think we got all the way around there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Are there any other questions? I have one, another one. Sure. So will the construction, how will that take place? Um, like in phases, for example, the north, northbound, Goes first, then the west, east, and so on. Or how is the construction going to go? Now those are those are very good questions for sure. And it, you know, as Fanta mentioned, we we've just completed thirty percent, uh, and and moving into sixty percent design now. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll start looking at sequencing of construction, um, and so you know, we certainly want to to try to get this work done as quick as we can. Uh, to, to minimize impact, um, it, it's it's unfortunate that we can't just snap our fingers and boom the improvements are there, right? But uh, so 
so we'll certainly be taking into account, uh, you know, the, the, the traffic and, and the best way to, to sequence and phase the, the construction to, to minimize the, the disruption during construction. Yeah, uh, understood. Thank you. So it'll be hard yeah. if it happens at the same time, I imagine. And to follow up on what David mentioned, those are all great points. We will have more information on the construction phase and what conditions to expect during our pre-construction community meeting. Sounds good, thank you. Sure, thank you. I do have another question on the northbound direction. Is there a is there a concrete median there that delineates that left turn lane? Is that what the gray? I mean, the green dotted spots are. That that's actually going to be a, a landscaped island. So we're trying to just incorporate as much uh, green as we can to go back, and so um, so it it pretty well. That that edge pretty well lines up with what's there today, and so we'll just be kind of cutting through uh, the grass median, if you will. Um, and so, so yeah, what 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 ends up is a is is a little grass uh, median, and the the concrete, the new turn lane will be between between two pieces of grass, if you will. Okay, why wouldn't there be like just a double turn lane like you have on the other intersections on the other lanes? Well, here again, the, you know, the traffic uh, patterns didn't didn't show that and so didn't didn't show an improvement in the intersection for that. And so uh, certainly if it ever comes, then, uh, you know, the ability to improve this this uh, this leg of the intersection is there uh, just simply by taking out that 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 grass median there. So, uh, so here again, it, it, it becomes kind of a cost benefit for everything we do sometimes, you know, and so. Uh, so there were just at this point in time, there were no significant improvements uh, for the for the cost. Hi, this is Karina Rendria. Um, can you all hear me? Yes, ma'am. OK, so you're speaking of that air, uh, what's view you know, on view right now on the computer. Uh, and you just say that it's going to be a grass, little grass inlay there. Um, and you're moving that lane to further to the left. That way, uh, I guess when we're driving, I guess we're facing east, going to turn north so we can see both lanes that are turning south from the east side. Is that the, the idea of that? Well, so in, in in this in this uh, picture that's on the screen, so this is the this is the northbound side, right? And so this left turn lane here would be you know set up just as it is today. To, you know, here again, turning you know for turning left and and heading west. And so so the offset on the left turn lane. So for for the southbound traffic or the opposite side of the intersection. You know, right now those those two left turn lanes are are far apart, and you you if you're if you're sitting in the left turn lane today, you you kind of have to look through or over the opposing left turn lane. And so, when you shift them in in this manner that we're proposing, here again, you clean up that line of sight to where I can see the traffic, the through traffic heading southbound. I can. I can see it much, much better, much better. Okay, well, when, you know, I live directly behind CVS, or we do, and um, I mean, we hear those accidents all the time. And that seems like that's the area that they're constantly having um, the wrecks is because somebody's going, um, they're turning opposite. So did, is that not what, y'all are looking at you're looking more that they're going east and west turning and that's where the accidents happen well i always see it turning uh as you're 
as it's visualized on the screen right now, as they're turning to the west and somebody's coming and they're racing the light, I guess, and they're going east. And that's where they, the, you know, the accidents happen. So why wouldn't a two lane, two turn lane be issue or input there? If that's yeah. where the impact seems to be more. Right, right. Yeah, the, so, so the, yeah, the, the dual left is, is really so that more cars can move through the intersection. Um, and so, but it, but it doesn't really improve necessarily the, the line of sight, or, or like you say, that eastbound car trying to, trying to beat the, beat the light, you, you know. And so, um, so yeah, I, 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 I hear what you're saying there. Uh, you know, there's, there's, there's certainly limits. I mean, if, if people are trying to beat the light, um, you know, there's, there's limits on, on what engineering can do to improve that. Um. And so, you know, we're, we're, uh, I mean, we're certainly making the intersection safer. We've, we've, uh, we've been able to demonstrate that uh, and working with the city's traffic department. Uh, they're, they're certainly on board. Um, so, it, it, yeah, this is, this is kind of where we are at the, at the 30% stage. Okay. I just, like I said, we live directly across in my backyard. Anytime there's a crash, I can see that they're going from north the northbound traffic is going is turning west and then you've got the southbound traffic turning east and that's where the accidents happen so i i, I mean that most of the accidents that i see that's what i've seen now it seems like this is going to improve more you know the double lane going to north crowley the school which i understand that too but um, I don't know. I just I'm just trying to get clarification on that. Sure. Well, you you brought up a really good point, and and Fanta, if if you can back up a couple of slides to the to the overall view. Yeah, there you go. You you back one. There there you're perfect. So yeah. So so you mentioned that the the northbound traffic that's that's turning left or turning you know heading west right and there there you know there's collisions with the southbound traffic that's turning left and heading to the east right and so correct so when we when we shift these over and I, I don't have a very good picture of that but when when we here again so you know when you when you're in these left turn lanes and you don't have a green arrow that that's protecting your turn you're you're having to look through the 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 opposing left turn lane. That that people that are in that left turn lane coming south. If I'm sitting in the northbound, they're kind of blocking my view of of any southbound traffic that's coming, right? And so, so that's what that's what we're seeing is the 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 benefit of being able to offset these left turn lanes and create a cleaner line of sight uh, across the intersection. Okay, so the, um, on the lights, we're not going to have a protected view at all times the light is on. Is it still going to be a flashing yellow light so they can turn? I mean, I think well, that's what it comes down to is that people don't, just don't know how to um, view those and they try to beat whoever's coming through and they uh, don't slow down, they don't yield at the flashing yellow. and it, it, they just try to rest through there, and, and you know the result is going to be a an accident. And right. a lot of it does have to do. I mean, it does have to do with the students from the school because I've seen plenty of students that you know they, they just they're new drivers, and it's it's they, they cause that accident. <laughs> exactly. So, well, I mean, there will be there will be protected turns. You, you know, there will be green arrows there, but there's. You know, as 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 a lot of intersections, uh, you know, there's a there's a phase during the during the um, uh, during the intersection during the timing that that it might be a flashing yellow, right? And so, uh, you know, before it goes to before it goes to red, and so, uh, but there there will be a protected a protected left turn. So why doesn't the city put a protected left turn like 
throughout the entire time. I'm just wondering. I mean, I, I, I just feel like that's a dangerous intersection. <laughs> I mean, when you're, while you're working on it and you say it's going to improve and we see an improvement, maybe then put the yellow, for, you know, the yellow flashing light to yield. But meanwhile, if y'all are working on everything, why can't we have the protected green arrow? Just for turning. Is that backing up traffic too much? Is that what it is? Right. And and I, I, I honestly, I don't have that information in front of me to know what the signal timing is today uh, to know what that what that looks like, um, you know, for the protected left. Uh, but. I mean, you, you live right there, you drive through it a, a lot more than I than I do, I'm sure. But but I would I would certainly think that there is at least some portion of that left turn that is um you know, is a protected left. It's a it's a right. I mean you have a you have a green a green right arrow to I mean a green left arrow to turn. And so um then it, it turns just, yellow. It, 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 right, right. Then it turns then it turns yellow and then and then it and then it's back to red, right? And so um, yeah. So I think the signal timing, that'd be one thing that, that uh, certainly will be, you know, uh, improved as you, as you go through this, this process, um, you know, Fanta mentioned that we're also able to add some additional length to the turn lanes and the, and the queues so we can store more cars there. Um, but I think here again, the natural progression is you, you know, you step through from from a green to a to a yellow to a red. Okay, well, you answered my question. I was just, I mean, I, I can see where the backup would happen, and that's why you know they they leave it as yellow longer, um, because I see a lot of cars turning those two directions, but it, it just. I just wish people would slow down at the intersection, especially the youth that they, they just fly through there. Like, you know, they're at a, I don't know, at the race racetrack or something. Right, right. So, well, these were very good points, and I appreciate you you talking and and uh, and asking these questions, particularly since you're you're hearing these accidents. Yes, they they are alarming. Yeah, for sure. yeah. a day so it's it's pretty bad it's pretty bad well so kudos, kudos, to, are, kudos to the city to to for, for getting the project going for sure right <laughs> so uh with these improvements i don't know if anybody asked a question about the how much it's going to cost that comes out of our taxes right so we're going to have our taxes go correct uh, this is actually a bond project, right, Fanta? So, um, so this is this is already something that's I hate to say built, I hate to say built in, but obligated, right? And so, yeah, and so our our current construction cost is is just a little over two point two million dollars, and so uh, and it's scheduled to to uh, to, to go out for bids, um, you know, in summer of twenty four. So we're just a about a year away, a little less than a year away, and so we hope construction cost will will flatten out at least, right? And uh, and let us let us get this thing built for about that price. Okay, and this uh, bond package is it uh, is it ten years? Is that what it is? Uh, I, yeah, Fanta, no? you're, you're Fanta, you're you would. I'm gonna have to have you help on that one. I, I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, I hear it in echo. You're muted. You can press star six anytime to unmute. Okay, sorry about that. The the pro the bond program is four years. And I was trying to mute some people to get rid of that echo. I may have accidentally muted the person who asked the question, and I apologize if I did that. I, I didn't mean to, but.
Um, if you're still there, you may have to unmute and um, thank you Fanta for answering that question. Sure, thank you. How would we get the recording for this webinar? If you can please put your email in the chat and then we will make sure to send you the recording, the presentation, as well as the city webpage for this project where you can get updates. And then also I'll go back to the slide with my contact information. You can give me a call or send me an email requesting that information as well, and then I can make sure that you receive it. Can you go, go back to the um, slide with the dates and the um, amount? I was just going to screenshot it. Well, thank you guys very much. Very um, important information. Sure. Thank you for joining us for tonight's meeting. Are there any other questions, comments, or concerns? Thank you, Fanta. This was great. I don't see any other questions in the chat. There was, there is one email address in the chat and um, we made sure to get that. I don't see any other questions though. Okay, thank you all for joining us for tonight's meeting in regards to the Healing and Rising Your Intersection Improvement Projects. All the, everyone who's putting your information in the chat, we will make sure to get your recording of tonight's meeting as well as the presentation slides and the the city website for this project and again we will have another meeting for the pre-construction once we are further with the design and we'll have updates with the expectations for construction phase services <laughs>